The weakening of the cemented road foundation is the reason why the Department of Public Works and Highways, or DPWH, is breaking down seemingly good roads along Masterson's Avenue in Cagayan de Oro City. This was learned Friday, September 20, from the city's first engineering district engineer, Yolanda Igam, in a talk with Shos e Online News Magazine. Engineer Egam was willing to explain to Shose Online regarding the issue with the understanding that only her voice be recorded due to health-related issues affecting her face. Earlier, some residents of Upper Balulang and Carmin, as well as motorists, have raised questions why a seemingly useful and good road along Masterson's Avenue had to be broken up with the construction works worsening the traffic congestion in the area especially during rush hours. She said her office found foundation weakening of the soil underneath the road concrete slabs, which eventually will collapse and render the overlay of asphalt useless. So, kay mag-overlay man good, sir. Mm -hmm. Ang sa overlay man good, once nga na ay cracks, nga amo lang na siyang kuberan. Later, mag-reflection na na siya, sir, mag -law -law. Mm -hmm. Nga wala na po na, di nasad na pwede nga matawag na to sound engineering, sound design. Mm -hmm. So muna nga gako ani, amo mm -hmm. agi nang i. Every year na sir ga conduct me o kanang kuan road evaluation. Okay. So Tanang in this sections. particular case, how long is the how, how long is the stretch? The number of blocks nga am Yes. When you say blocks, kanang 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 anak lang is kanang, square. Oh, oh, oh. oh how long is blocks? like only one lane? Manas siya? Four no, lanes manas siya. No, depends yah, sir. Kung asa nga block ni bilong nga naik crack. So what are you saying? Di mo kita. Kanang akong mga tao kung magkandak sila anak nga survey baklay. Ila ginang baklayon. Pag nana sila nakita nga kwan mo tong mo agi na nana de criteria nga ilang himoon nga ila da yung i kuan kanang uh, ila da yung tong nadati siya lang mga checklist da yun magawas na da nga need siya pareha rasa na siya sir kar, if you remember kanang sa liseo yeah, 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 yeah. yeah na issue na siya sa una grabing issue anak kaya amo nang gihimo uh, during summer nga di may kayo makakuan sa school after graduation Ang ano gihapon diya kay nganong gi replace namo mm. ang ilalom sir ang lay problema mm. lata mm. oh lata na ang lata ilalom ang soil. yes sir lata na siya nga tug da tendency nga na nagit siya dayay cracks pag cracks ana niya mulaong na na mo nang mo na nang ito mong mag shattered na ang atong blocks oh. so, so kinang na siya it could cause uh, bigger damage yes sir kung dili na ma Oh, your body, uh, mm. Mm. So, what's uh, Like, can I stretch from, let's say. Selected na siya, sir, and then after the reblocking, overlay na ta. When we say overlay, what does that mean? Cemento. Oh, no, asphalto na to ibuta. So, di na cemento. Di, sa pawa na siya. Okay. Cemento on ka po, sir. Katong black, nga atong i remove. Just like the original. Cemento na po, oh. original. Pero mag ano na din tag overly mas smooth makaya yan dalan yan dagan. A written information sheet issued by Engineer Egam's office to Shosi Online News Magazine said the name of the project affecting the Masterson's Avenue is called Asset Preservation Maintenance Secondary Road CDO Airport Bukidnon Road undertaken by Venray Construction Corporation with a start date of July 25, 2019 and expiry date of October 17, 2019. The contract amount is over 47 million pesos. The same information sheet added that the implementation of the project started on September 17, 2019 at 7 p.m. and that the project was significantly delayed in the construction works since DPWH had to coordinate first with the Office of the Roads and Traffic Administration, or RTA, for the traffic impact management. The scope of work covers the asphalt overlay from crossing Makanhan flyover to SM Uptown. Engineer Egam's office also said that the project was identified under the pavement management system through the annual road condition survey, which was rated fair to poor condition. Thus, it said the recommendation was to implement the asphalt overlay, 
with corrections resulting to what DPWH calls reblocking. DPWH First Engineering District of Cagayan de Oro also clarified that they have already issued a travel advisory to the public regarding the reblocking project in Upper Carmen. This is Mauro Shosa reporting for Shosa Online News Magazine with June 14th.